and welcome to your gold market update for today the 8th of july 2022 happy friday i trust you're looking forward to the weekend mike smith senior analyst at gold market here to take you through what's happening today let's have a look at what's coming across the news of course we had the fourth day of gains on the s p 500 overnight uh, that's the first time since january so positive sentiment across all major indices is apparent Seems as though a lot of the bad news may be already priced in. Of course, we've had some data which hasn't been dreadful this week, which has helped. Big tech has outperformed throughout the week and has left the Nasdaq and the S&P 500 at key resistance levels. Obviously, today we've got some big jobs data out in the US. And in the UK, the step down of the British Prime Minister Boris Johnson seems to have been received well in both what happened with the FTSE and the GB Pound last night. Uh, U.S. futures, however, are slightly softer in Asia, suggesting perhaps markets want to take a breath before that data comes out tonight. And Asian indices are slightly higher following that U.S. lead. ASX is up slightly at around about 0.6%. European futures are pointing to a mildly higher open. And the U.S. dollar index, which has had an incredibly strong week, paused yesterday. Gold subsequently didn't fall anymore after a dreadful week and is currently still trading around 1740. Oil regained a little bit after testing 100. It's trading around about 104 at the moment. And VIX is below 28 this morning and at monthly lows, as that little bit of positivity is seen in that index also. Uh, Copper's reversed a little, but it's still significantly lower on the week, of course. Uh, but there does look to be a fairly clear reversal pattern on that. So it'll be interesting to see where there's any follow through later. Bitcoin is trading towards the top of the range. Remember, it's been trading between around about 18,500 and 21 in its current trading range. It's towards the top of that at the moment, but not significant buying pressure evident. It may be short-term traders just pushing the price up and down in that range. The data today is dominated by US monthly employment and non-farm payrolls being one of the most important data points on the calendar. We've also got the Canadian employment numbers and the ECB chair speech from Christine Lagarde may influence local markets, but not likely to have a massive impact across all asset classes. There are a couple of charts that have caught our eye today. Let's just check those out for now. Uh, we're going to start with a zero today, and you can see this push up towards resistance at 86.50. It is higher today, but has dropped off a little bit from open suggesting buyers aren't quite ready to push it up towards that 92.16 next resistance level that you can see there. Pretty well established resistance as well. You can see it was support back here in February and March and resistance towards the back end of May. So worthwhile possibly having a look at that towards the end of the trading session or even on Monday. On the FX front, we're just going to check in on the GB pound Yen, GB Pound was strong after that news of Boris Johnson's resignation came across the wire. As you can see, we pushed up to around about this 163.65 level, which we're testing right now. If we do get some significant buying pressure in that, you can see there's some associated volume with early Asian trading. We could see ourselves up possibly around 100 pips up to test this 164.60 level here. And though we may get a pause around about 40 or 50 pips up you can see there there is some congestion around this level previously trade safe and we'll see you again soon bye bye for now